Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shifan and I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. I make YouTube videos about medical school and university. So if you haven't checked out my channel yet, go check it out right now. I make get into medical school videos, videos with medical school advice, vlogs, stay in the life videos. So go check it out. If you enjoy my videos, if you think my channel is something you'd be interested in, hit that subscribe button and join me for a lot more. Anyway, so as promised, today I'm going to rank all the medical schools in the UK from first to last. And then I'm going to discuss a little bit about as many medical schools as I can. And yeah, hopefully it's helpful. Just a disclaimer before we get into this video, rankings at the end of the day are rankings. They're subjective criteria that are given numbers on numerical values so you can't really rely on them or depend on them all of these medical schools would give you a quality medical education so you can't really discriminate against them too much at the end of the day the differentiating factors between each medical school boil down to preference so you want to find which medical school is the best fit for you or which medical school works best for you based on your preferences or what you're looking for right so now that that's out of the way let's get into this ranking thing so um if you disagree with any of the rankings or if you have uh, your own like opinion about it because at the end of the day this is also like kind of opinion based then do leave a comment down in the comment section below letting me know what you disagree with or what you would put differently so what i did here was i took three different ranking systems so i took the complete university guide Guardian's University Guide and then I took one international ranking metric and that's Times Higher Education and then basically I took the score that each one of these rankings gave each medical school so they scored each medical school out of 100 and then for each medical school I took the average of the three different ranking systems and gave it an overall score and then based on that overall score I've ranked all these medical schools from first to 34th so yeah this, sh this should be fun so let's get right into it so the medical school that ranked number one the best medical school in the uk was the university of oxford no surprises there it scored 94.2 out of 100 and yeah it was number one now before i discuss oxford let's talk about number two so number two was the university of cambridge and it scored 91.3 so oxford or oxford and cambridge are not only the best universities in the uk they're also the best universities in the world so what makes them so good for medicine is the tutorial system that's what really differentiates oxford and cambridge so the tutorial system involves having tutorials two to three times a week where two to three students sit with a tutor and that's where they learn. So this small group teaching, very, very small group teaching with an individual tutor is what really enhances your learning. You really get a lot of individual attention and that's something that really makes you very good in terms of your subject knowledge and your understanding of medical sciences and other things. And then the degree in Oxford is uh, Oxford and Cambridge are separated into three clinical years, three preclinical years, and then three clinical years. And in the three preclinical years, you basically acquire a BA in medical sciences in Oxford, and then you have an option of a couple of degrees that you can get in Cambridge. You can get a BA in like microbiology and stuff like that as well in Cambridge. So yeah so now for number three you have the university of edinburgh scoring 90.5 that's pretty high i myself got rejected from the university of edinburgh and at number four we have imperial college london scoring 89.2 out of 100 imperial's course is supposed to be the future of medical teaching it has three stages which is quite common for uh medical schools in the UK and uh, it has a strong emphasis on research. Now number five is the University of Glasgow. Glasgow, their sort of uh, claim to fame is that they have excellent staff 
and they're very responsive to their medical students that's something that's obviously really important so that was the top five so you have oxford cambridge edinburgh imperial and glasgow at number six we have ucl now ucl another london uni it's the, the great thing about ucl is the diversity you get diverse range of hospitals and a diverse range of options when it comes to your IBSC or your integrated BSc you have to integrate at UCL and luckily you have the widest range of degrees in which you can integrate here so I realized that I completely missed out number seven so number seven is the University of Bristol number seven we not at number seven and number eight we have the University of Aberdeen Aberdeen is a really small town and uh, it offers a remote and rural option for teaching. It's the only medical school that does that. And at number nine, we have my medical school, which is King's College London. Now, King's College London is the largest medical school in the UK in terms of its student body size. So they take 430 medical students every year. Um, it's a London University, obviously, and it's known for its great hospitals. So it's associated with St. Thomas's, Guy's and King's College Hospital mainly. These are some of the best hospitals in the UK. At number 10 now, we have Brighton and Sussex Medical School. What's great about Brighton and Sussex is that it has a really small sort of cohort size. So you get a lot of individual attention. You also get a lot of early clinical exposure at BSMS, which is, again, always great. Number 11 to number 15. So at number 11, we have Barts or the Queen Mary's Medical School. So Barts, another great London uni, and they have problem-based learning as their curriculum structures. Number 12, Swansea. Now the benefit of Swansea again is that you have a very small cohort so it's very individualized so each medical student gets a lot more attention. Number 13 is Dundee. Now the University of Dundee is known for a number of reasons in terms of medicine. So it has a spiral curriculum it has one of the best anatomy centers in all of the UK. And then it's associated with Nine Wells Hospital, which is the largest teaching hospital in the whole country. And at number 15, we have a tie between Leeds and Warwick. Now, a uh, thing to note about Warwick is that it only offers graduate entry medicine. So you have to be a graduate and you have to go into the four year graduate entry medicine course at Warwick. Now moving on, number 17 is the University of Manchester. Now that's another big medical school, it's really big. It's probably the second biggest one after King's. An interesting thing about Manchester is it offers a study in Europe option where if you've taken German, French or Spanish at A-levels, then you can uh, opt to study abroad for 16 weeks in your fifth year in a European medical center. So that's pretty interesting. At number 18, we have St. Andrews, another Scottish medical school. The interesting thing here is in the latter half of your degree, you get to attend a partner medical school. So essentially throughout your degree, you're attending two different medical schools. That's pretty cool. Number 19 is Newcastle. And at number 20, we have Kiel. So Kiel, another small med school, and here they integrate lecture-based teaching with problem-based learning, so both. For number 21, we have a three-way tie between Sheffield, Cardiff, and Exeter. Now a noteworthy thing about Cardiff is that it offers very early clinical exposure from the first year itself, and um, they start off teaching clinical skills and history taking from literally your first day on the course. At number 24, we have the University of Birmingham tied with the University of Leicester. At number 26, there's Hull York Medical School. Again, another small school. And at number 27, we have Queen's Belfast University. This is the only one in the list in Northern Ireland. At number 28, 
yeah, Southampton. And the interesting thing about Southampton is it's one of the only universities where you can get another degree within your five years. You don't have to do an extra year. You can get a Bachelor of Medical Sciences within your five years by doing a research project or something like that. And you can do that at the University of Nottingham as well, but I'll mention that again later on. At number 29, we have Lancaster. And at number 30, we have the University of East Anglia Medical School. So the last few medical schools, at number 31, we have the University of Nottingham. Like I mentioned earlier, the University of Nottingham and Southampton are the only two universities where you can get another degree within your five years the Bachelor of Medical Sciences. In number 32, we've got Plymouth. So number 33 is St. George's, another London uni. And there are a few things to note about St. George's. It's ranked first in the UK for graduate prospects. 70% of research submissions here were ranked as internationally excellent. And 92% of students at St. George's say that the course and the teaching there is intellectually stimulating. All of these are like great signs, obviously. Us on the list on number 34 is the University of Central Lancashire. Now that was the ranking 1 to 34, but there are a few other medical schools that didn't really make it onto the rankings list because they were not ranked by Guardian the Complete University Guide or Times Higher Education and if they weren't ranked I obviously couldn't combine their scores or I couldn't average their scores and therefore I couldn't include them in the rankings but you should know about them which medical schools these are so I'll just mention a few of them Anglia Ruskin University Uni Buckingham Medical School Kent and Medway Medical School the University of Sunderland Medical School, Edge Hill University Medical School, Brunel Medical School in London, Ulster University Medical School and Chester Medical School. So those are all the ones I could find. I'm sorry if I missed any out. That was the rankings for all the medical schools in the UK, first to last. Now, like I said earlier, rankings are not that important, but they're just an interesting way of looking at things. They're just seeing all these universities from one perspective, but it is interesting to look at. All of these universities have something great about them. So uh, if you if you go to any of these universities or if you're planning to go to any of these universities, doesn't matter if it's number 34 or number one, you're going to a great medical school. So remember that. But anyway, I hope you found this video interesting. I hope it was fun to watch. And if it was, do hit that subscribe button and uh, follow me for a lot more videos and uh, drop a like on this video. Leave any comments you want down below bashing these rankings, disagreeing with me or agreeing with me. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one.